Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again, Virgo. Alrighty, this will be our first career and money reading for May 2022, dedicated to perspective from this point onwards. So hopefully you guys are all doing great. Let me shuffle one more and we will read together. Beautiful, beautiful um, spring day in downtown Stony Creek, Ontario and Virgo, as always. 10 cards, always breaking down elements of a question you may have on your mind, a goal, looking at the what, why, how, and when, where, and with whom. How do we achieve more money? How do we build an empire? How do we get to financial security? How do we achieve the best career path if you are looking? So 10 cards, and let's begin to say this is going to be powerful. As you guys could see, we're ending up with an emperor, but we're beginning it with almost, okay, a question for the fool. So let's read together, if I can keep these chords in place. Alrighty, what changes, okay, changes you got on your mind here with a five of swords. And then there's immediately after that, the energy of the fool, as if to say, we're excited about something. We're excited about making some changes in order to act and move forward, perhaps in a very, very new direction. Now, do we have elements here that suggest there may be some kind of a departure, there may be some kind of a, um, a new, can we say, location, a new endeavor? Absolutely. The fool's energy will suggest that. The fool's energy will suggest that Virgo, okay, if this resonates with you, has probably done a little bit of assessment, has identified a new path, and is now set on that new path towards building an empire, okay? Building something theirs, building something that is lasting for long term with all the comforts that come around it as well. So we also, we looked at the emperor, but also in position nine, which is where I say, why is it all happening? What's really on Virgo's mind? Well, the king of coins is on Virgo's mind. So not only are we building an empire, but we are managing money in a much better way. So sip of tea. And here we are. Okay, five of swords, changes that I need to make. Those changes can relate to a departure or they can relate to a new mode of work altogether. They are rational. They are based on information. They are based on data. And at the same time, they inspire you. It's as if you see a loophole or a gap in your business plan or in your business model. And you say, oh, okay, if I can compensate for this with that, that could be a new path. That could be a new way to making more and more money. And not just that, making more money and building a foundation here with the emperor as the number four for growth, for attracting abundance. Okay, so immediate action. The fool has seen the opportunity. The data has come and you are so solid in terms of faith that this approach is going to work. Well, we set the priorities now. And as you set the priorities, you are looking again long term. Here comes our um, six of coins suggesting what steps have to happen and not just that and the sequence by which they need to happen now we are dealing with an earthy coin matter here so we really are asked to be wise with our spending if this endeavor involves you investing if this endeavor involves you you know what's forking out some cash what do you have to spend on first so that's kind of the ask and that's kind of an energy i'm getting from king of coins as well as to management of your own resources and remember, we began it with an element of efficiency. It's like Virgo is realizing, oh, if I can trim that waste, if I can save on that spending, maybe then I have a foundation, you know what, to develop more and more coins around. Good. And then you end up with a choice. You end up with an exciting choice. Okay. The moment we have those priorities, who has to do what? We now have a choice. Well, of course you have a choice because the fool is about action. The fool is about moving forward. And as they go on their journey, there's always going to be choices and decisions to be made. This one here appears to be exciting. So we are upbeat. We are looking at the sun's energy and saying, feed me more of that. Give me more of that vibe. Give me more of that 
positivity. Give me more of that forward momentum because I am intending to cause big changes, big changes. You began with a five of swords, but your timing note here suggests the tower, which is interesting. Okay, an asset available to Virgo is the ability to manage data and use it in such a way, okay, that is convincing to others. So, for example, you are convincing potential partners, okay, to join in in this venture. You have that ability. You have the ability to take the data, you know what, introduce it, present it in a way as we have here with the King of Swords in an opportunity position. So it's a way that you rationally introduce the ideas or the project idea to others. And it's also another way that you are able to manage the changes that have to happen. I love the fact that you get the King of Swords right there, right when you are ready to make moves, right when you are ready to call on others to join as well in this can we call it new work mode okay so a king of swords established thoughts based on data and the opportunity comes because you got daring okay because you were bold when you are bold doors open when you are bold with information as well when you are acting from you know what a mindset of faith a mindset of manifestation a mindset of attracting abundance but at the same time you couple that with facts and data and it has to do with the manner by which you deliver the information Virgo and I see you doing that ever so capable and ever so masterfully with that king of swords opportunity the opportunity shows up after you call on you know what a decision after you make a decision and at the same time the opportunity inspires others so in the sunshine here we are looking at the process by which we develop more and more coins we are looking at the market if you will the work environment in a different outlook okay and awaiting or causing this big of a change so some heads here have to be convinced and it's because you are bold and daring you're going to be able to have that discussion if that's what you need to do to convince others to join or to support your initiative like i say you don't always have to be the owner of the business it doesn't always have to be about you starting up a new business but it looks like potentially a new market a new market environment, a new market, can we say, segment that you are approaching. And it comes from a realization, hey, there's more to be won. There's money being left on the table. If we could change the current status quo, we are managing our resources better and we are on route and on path to building that successful financial empire, if you will. Now, the empire, again, it could be your little kiosk somewhere to each their own budget, to each their own scale, or it can be, you know what, the business empire, okay? A lot of you guys who watch me, I'm starting to realize that a lot of you guys are still teenagers, working hard, getting jobs at the age of 16 and 17, and sometimes younger, sometimes older, but really, dream big, Virgo okay dream big all right next 10 layer of 10 more cards and let's see what else we're going to get love the fact that you got two kings love the fact that you have an open eye and you're willing to pursue the dream you're willing to go after it when you got the fool's energy and at the end it's always about reward it's always about the judgment that you you know what deserve and will receive so here we go. We're beginning now with a fluid set of priorities, if you will. We're looking at the Six of Cups, and then we're looking at creating the new business format, the new business model, the business process, the commercial process, etc., etc. Six of Cups, and then to the Three of Swords. If it were a Four of Swords, I would say you got that high level already, but there's more detail, okay? We didn't get a four of swords here, but really the outlook here is Virgo wants to finish this business plan. Virgo wants this to be solid enough that it becomes a business template. So kind of looking at things here where um, with, with an eye that says, when do I get my four coins? When do I get my four of coins? When do all the approvals come into place? And now this becomes the approved, if you will, business template, business model. Oh, well, you get that when you cause a few material changes 
changes. And earlier we were looking at those changes being related to cost savings, being related to expenses, being related to spending, etc., etc. All about management of resources. So here we look at the ace of wands. As we continue to create this business model as we refine it, develop it further, get feedback from others. We get so inspired. And again, the idea starts to bring you more and more, um, you know, what success ideas you begin to, if you will, smell the fruits of your labor or the potential fruits of your labor. And you're reminded as you make progress with a nine of coins here that the opportunity is quite close. So the asset available to Virgo in this particular spread here is the ability to make a judgment call, is the ability to make a choice. Judgment is at the end as a potential outcome for us here. And here you are judging a particular situation. Here is the lover's energy who will choose based on faith, based on their belief, kind of like the fool's energy who decided early on to say enough with the current status quo. I am changing things up. So we have one here on the one hand, you are making a choice. On the other hand, the opportunity comes also with an interesting set of, you know what, um, elements coming together. So the alchemy of the temperance card here that says, Virgo, you have a plan, Virgo, you have pushed forward, and now it's time to incorporate some additional input. When you do that, okay, it's like it's the final touch on this money-making plan. When you do that, you get to your four of coins. And boy, what an opportunity. Once I've had all the approvals, once I've had one particular party provide the input, they may be the signing authority at the end of the day, you are then able to proceed on a solid foundation. A solid foundation is what you were looking for. The outcome in the first spread was the emperor. Prior to that was the king of coins. So we kind of want to have a little bit of stability on that process in a material way. That is, we know the location of what we do or the market where we are going. We know how it's fed. We know how we can supply to it, etc., etc. And in it for the long term also, Virgo. Alrighty, your timing note says you cause the material changes. This market begins to open up differently. Just underneath, guys, we had the tower. What needed to happen in order for that program to be well judged for Virgo and for Virgo to receive the fruit of their labor? Labor, okay, there were changes to be made. We began at saying efficiency, efficiency, <laughs> efficiency changes. Marwan, come on now efficiency changes okay and now we have those changes understood to a point where that is the process okay i love it i love it purpose here was advancement and not just advancement advancement with a new rank advancement we went from the fool to okay king of coins to now queen of swords Alrighty, understanding the opportunity that is around you has led you to advance, understanding it and seeing where, again, there may be gaps in the marketplace where you can tap in with a little bit of management of resources. That was a purpose note. That is a beautiful, beautiful analytical energy to help support Virgo on their mission for achieving more and more coins now that we are about to establish a strong money foundation, a strong home base, okay, from which you can grow and develop even further and further. And boy, what a possibility. Judgment. And who is afraid of judgment? When you have done your work, when you have done your part, you anticipate judgment. You want the market to say yes. You want your customers to say yes. You want your higher ups to say yes. So it's as if Virgo fears nothing. Virgo has all the data on their side. Virgo is doing all the hard work. And then the judgment moment here is actually the reward moment, the completion moment that comes towards the end of this exercise. I love it. I love it. Beginning with rationality and ending with an emperor and the card that says you will be feared because you have been methodical in your process, because you have been steadfast in your process. You've been consistent. You've had your eyes and ears open and heard the market speak and say, there are opportunities. And if you could make a few tweaks here and there, you're able to capitalize on them. So Virgo, congrats. Okay. I'm excited for you guys. 
this was our reading i hope you guys liked it and of course let me know what you thought and of course virgo you guys should know we do love you madly and bye for now guys